All right, guys, welcome back to the farm. Just wanted to bring you down to the pond, show you the old farm pond. It is max uh, overflowing the banks. Usually there's about a foot below the the, uh, the dock to sit and uh, dangle your legs and uh, it's right up to the right up to the sides. So I just wanted to take you down here, kind of show you the pond. Joe, say hello. Hi. <laughs> Did you get it over your boot? Yeah. Oh, well, mom will be impressed. You get your both, socks are soaked. Both sides. Why did you do that, dude? I don't know. <laughs> and other dogs having fun over there too. <laughs> oh my God. Nice job, buddy. Now how are you gonna get back? By walking in a wet boot. Yeah. Um, I'm happy for it to just be a wildlife pond. The deer come down here year round. In the spring, we've had uh. Geese? Geese? Babies? Goose? Geese. <laughs> what is it? Geese. Goose is singular. Geese is plural. Thank you, Joe, for that lesson. We've had geese down here with babies. And, <laughs> oh my God, we've had several varieties of ducks. Wood ducks uh, last year. And then this year we've had the mallards, um, hooded mergansers, and the buffalo heads. They'll usually take turns on the pond and then they go down to the creek. There's a wide spot in a, uh, a bend in the creek. Oh, what is that? A little, I see it look like a swimming motion and then that bubble popped up. Is it these water bugs? Is that, uh, I don't know if it's water bugs yet, pal. I saw water bugs when I was walking through there. Well, last year, or was it two years ago, we planted a, an entire bucket of bait fish in here. And the bait fish were doing well last year. That yeah, was not last year. It was at least two years ago. That's what I said. Last year they were in here still, though. Last year when we came down here for your one of the birthdays with your cousins, and we looked in here, there was a ton of minnows. I was about to talk about bigger fish. No, not the big ones. The big ones didn't make it. They were floating. But the minnows did. Well, it doesn't help when the uh, sandhill cranes are down here plucking them out of the water, too. Usually every, every spring, the return of the, of the uh, sandhill cranes is a nice sight. They, they land. I don't know if they're mating or what the hell they're doing, but they're dancing around the fields. And then they'll come down here, and you can see them walking in the shallows, probably picking my fish out or the frogs. Yeah, this is really... Of all the uh, things that are down here in this nature wildlife pond, the frogs are doing the best. Uh, probably another another few weeks. Hey, Joe, yeah. it's going to be deafening down here. We'll take you back down here. We're down in the backyard. The pond is just looking magnificent. You can see um, we're about a foot, maybe a foot and a half beyond the banks where the normal level is at. But because we've just had a beautiful thaw and all the snow runoff and uh, a couple of days of, of really nice, um, easy rains, the level its just awesome. We never got this pond aerated and uh, some of the vegetation took over, which you're seeing here. If I would have been aerating, uh, that would have eliminated some of that plant growth. So we have treated this pond with uh, the algicide. Oh my God, is he a monster. Look at that guy. Grab him with your hand, Joe. Mm -mm. Come on. Grab him with we'll just take him out. So yeah, he is huge. Rip the front legs off. No. No. It's not freezing. Well, oh, that is a big frog. All right. Well, one of the uh, one of the birds of prey will grab them, have a little supper. Well, I had this pond dug in the backyard. This was always a low spot in this field, and uh, I always dreamt of having a pond in my backyard. So when we were having the house built. The guy that I hired to do the excavating uh, would have needed to buy some 
some fill to bring in around the backfill around the foundation. So instead we, we went forward with this pond. It's about eight to 10 feet deep in the middle. Ooh, I'm surprised the bald eagle's been sitting down here. Surprised he didn't get it. Nice. All right, Joe, leave him in the water so that the, uh, the bald eagle can see him. Molly. Molly, just leave him be. That's cool. Yeah, that is cool. Yep. All right, guys, that's pretty much the tour of the pond. I don't know if it's a quarter of an acre. Um, I just built a small eight foot dock there. Usually, you know, we, I think it might have heaved slightly at the back. And then when, when there was a ton of water, um, it, it'll heave it a little bit in the front too. We're extremely high right now. Um, but it sure looks great. Wanted to bring it down here. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to do a check in down here at the pond, kind of show you how things are looking. And uh, just say hi on this beautiful Monday night. It's about 60 degrees um, on this April 11th. Or is it the 12th today, Joe? What is it? 11th. April 11th. 60 degrees. Beautiful. All right, guys, thanks for checking out the video. We'll catch you next time.